Hello! How are my cutie cues doing today? I missed you so much. Today we are having Chick-fil-A. I'm super excited. I love Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna let you guys know what we're eating today. We have the 12 count classic nuggets. We have the, what is this called? This is a grilled club. It has Colby Jack cheese, it has bacon, tomatoes, lettuce, um, and grilled chicken. We have the spicy chicken sandwich. We have french fries. We have the chicken wrap, grilled chicken wrap. I love Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't normally eat any other sauce, but I have Chick-fil-A sauce here. And my favorite dressing for their salad or for the wraps is the apple cider vinaigrette. Um, of course, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and take our Eat With Q. Oh, I almost forgot. We have a drink here. This is the Arnold, I always get this tongue tied, Ar Arnold Palmer, and it is basically sweet tea and lemonade mix. Yum, so, so good. I'm just gonna take this down. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Eat With Q apple cider vinegar capsules. The link for these will be in the description box if you are interested in purchasing. Absolutely amazing. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you're having a great week so far. It's Monday. Happy Monday. And I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm ready to dig in, you guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And before I get started, I almost forgot. I want to give a moment of silence to the victims of El Paso and the victims of Dayton, Ohio. Now, this type of thing is starting to become more and more frequent. So I want to give a, a moment of silence to those victims and even victims that we just don't know about or it doesn't get news coverage. <sighs> you guys are so sad, extremely sad. Mmm. Delicious. What do you guys like from Chick-fil-A? Mmm. Chick-fil-A is so good. Now, if I wasn't doing a mukbang, my go-to Chick-fil-A meal would be the nuggets, Chick-fil-A sauce, and the fries. Maybe sometimes I'll get a crispy sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, maybe. And this is honey roasted barbecue, but to me, you guys, it reminds me of the Chick-fil-A sauce. How about you guys? Does it taste any different? Doesn't really taste any different to me than Chick fil A sauce. Mm. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and get a bite of that. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. It's spicy. Mmm. <clears throat> so good. Mmm. Well, I 
guess it tastes a little bit different. But it tastes very similar to the Chick-fil-A sauce, in my opinion. Mmm. Here comes my cat. My shadow. What? And what I love the most about Chick-fil-A is that the lettuce is never wilted. It never looks nasty. It always looks so good and fresh. Now, some places, it is just the quality is not there. It's all wilted and nasty looking. Mmm. That is so good. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Just let me enjoy this. so good they just get it right every time they use real chicken they don't have to call it white meat because it's actually real chicken which I love. Mm. you guys mm. the wrap the salads are so good the back is good everything is good everything is really good I'm gonna let you have a bite of this Mmm. Mmm. So what have you guys been up to? Me. I had a really good weekend. Sunday. Mmm. Mm. Sunday, I had a really awesome meeting here. So, may help us start. My helper start out with his channel. I'm super excited about that. He's super excited about his channel. It's kind of weird seeing him do a channel because <clears throat> he was so against it at first. But I just feel like 
if you know somebody that does mukbangs and you've been on the channel a couple times it's something that you kind of just like fall into it even if you think you're not going to do it you just end up doing it because it is really fun to talk to you guys and you build a relationship with everybody mmm this is so good You want a piece of chicken? Mm. The lettuce is never wilted, ever. Yeah, cool. But yes, you guys, those shootings are so sad. It just, just breaks my heart that people can literally just, you just, you just don't, you, you're not safe anywhere. You're not safe anywhere. And you just have to just pray and ask God to protect you and your family because it is scary. It is so scary to know that you could be shopping at your grocery store, minding your business, and somebody can just come in there like that. It makes me so sad. Nobody deserves to die like that. And I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news. I don't watch TV. Um, I don't have cable. But I said, oh my goodness, let me go look and see what happened and what's going on. Because it just seemed like, and you know what's so sad? Um... I had said to Scott that I think it is so a shame that we are waiting for the next tragedy. We have become so desensitized to this stuff. I mean, it's sad every time we hear that it happens and we react every time we hear that it happens, but it's just become our norm, you know, in this country. And it just makes me really, really sad that, you know, I'm just sitting there thinking, okay, well, when is the next tragedy going to happen? And it's just, it, it's, it's sickening. And really, uh, why is this fighting going in and out? Very sad, man. Nobody deserves that. And it just weighed heavy on me all last night. Just like, when is it going to end? When is this going to stop? Mm. That spice is not just on the outside of the chicken, it's within the chicken. I like that. But yeah, this is what it's come to and
So sad. Oh, so sad. I couldn't even sleep that good last night. Well, I will say this. Any situation that happens, I will not live in a spirit of fear. I will not live my life in fear. I will not be scared to go places and do things and live my life to the fullest because of something like that. You can't, I mean, it's very scary, but we can't let stuff like that run our life. And it can be very, very scary just the thought of it, the thought of having children. You know, you don't want your children, you know, having to deal with stuff like that. Uh. But even though I was up, you know, I couldn't barely sleep. I said, you know what? We just have to, oh, excuse me. We have to bulk up our faith and we have to just keep moving keep going i'm not gonna let something like that cripple me even though it is very scary and it's sad just minding your business going grocery shopping doing what you got to do minding your business and then boom Mm. The cold, cold world. Mm. That is delicious. And if anybody has gone through anything like that, my heart goes out to you and your family. I don't know what that's like. I pray I never have to deal with anything like that. It's just heavy. And that's why I don't watch the news because I feel like there's never nothing positive on the news. There's always something negative. It's toxic. It makes you angry. And in my opinion, the news, it tells you what to think. You can't, you don't think for yourself when you're watching the news because they're telling you what to think. They're telling you how to move. They the ones that be putting fear in you. You know? It's just crazy. I, I don't like, I personally don't like the news. I'm gonna take a few more bites of this and I'm gonna call it, call it a day. And I got my salad in for today. Mmm. <laughs> All right, you guys, I ate mostly everything. A little bit of fries left, a little bit of that left, like three nuggets left. Woo! I am full. Chick-fil-A is delicious. If you don't know what to eat, definitely have some Chick-fil-A for dinner tonight if it's in your area, because I know some people don't have access to Chick-fil-A. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in for me, tuning in for another video. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye. Mwah.
babe. What you doing, boo boo? 